This was my first video game. On my fifth birthday, I received a Super Nintendo and Donkey Kong Country 3. Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. I love this game so much. I could never beat it as a kid, but I think we have a much better chance today. So let's get started. And I'm gonna say the name is Quick because I want to go fast. Now this is not a speed run, but I will have the timer because there's a lot of people that will not watch a run like this without a timer, myself included. So the timer will start on first input. Right here. And we're gonna go just like I did when I was a kid. Just ignore all the text and go. Great song, by the way. Katuka. Basically, Kongs are kidnapped. Take this kid, leave. Bye. Here's my boat. Here is level one. Now I'm going to be... This is not really a speedrun because there's, I'm going to do a couple things that a speedrun would never do, like play a little bit twice. But I am going to try to go fast. This first level was the only level I was able to beat as a kid. And uh, the second level is pretty, it's not difficult, but for a second level, it's not the easiest. But the first level is super chill. And the solo one. Level two, we go inside. And we have these little pool lever things to open all the doors. Pretty simple. But it is a little bit difficult to get the timing right if you're a new player. That was also really slow. Bad mistake. And I'm definitely not perfect in this game, especially the first few levels. Um, I practice the later worlds. I'm kind of basically just going off of sight reads on the earlier worlds, so expect a few mistakes here and there. I would usually just fly to the elevator, but Dixie is not there, so. Uh, so basically, Dixie can fly, or hover at least, and Kitty has the more ground-based. So like, um, he can water bounce and also break through force. So yeah, the second one was also really long. That was really risky for no reason. Uh, yeah, I can still do it. I'm gonna try to get the lives right there. Sweet, that's level two. Now, level three is one of the hardest uh, bonus levels to get to. So either you have to do uh, two water bounces with Kitty or you have to do a perfect flight with Dixie, and both are really difficult. And most of the time I will be holding Y, because we're trying to go fast, and a lot of tricks only work when you're holding Y. But I am going to try the water bounces just to see. I don't think I can do them. It's been a bit too long. Okay, made it. So basically you go water. Ah, yeah, missed. It's so precise.
So basically you want to roll as soon as you hit the water. And it's just a really tough timing. And that is level 3. Moving on to Skidda's Row, level 4. This has an amazing song back backing track, and I actually have this song in particular on my music playlist. I have the entire game track on my playlist, but I have this song and a few others in particular. I should really just roll into him, but I usually just stop and wait. I've taken so many unnecessary hits right there. I felt like I needed speed there, but I probably didn't. I probably could have made that without going backwards. This is a really hard section. Yeah, I think we're just gonna roll. The roll works with uh, Dixie too, she just spins, but the uh, visual cue is easier for me with Kitty. Alright, Murky Mill. The first Ellie level and the worst Ellie level. Now you can totally skip the Ellie section, but I don't know how to do that, so we're playing it normal way. And basically this level is off the old tale that elephants are afraid of mice. So if Ellie sees a mouse, then uh, she will freeze. I really don't like the bouncing enemies. They they give me hits way too often. So I'm a bit overcautious when it comes to them. This is one of the hardest jumps. Yeah. It's so, it's so stupid. I think I want to just grab a barrel. I can usually do it without, but it's just safer to grab a barrel. But that was a good example of a freeze. And uh, even though I technically landed on the rat, it still counted as a hit. And the rat didn't even... The rat didn't even take damage, so... Alright, I said a barrel. Let's try one more time. Ah, uh, that sucks. I hate this section so much. You can definitely do that without a barrel. I just don't know why it's so difficult. And another reason why this is not a speedrun. Because speedrun would have finished this level like ages ago. DK uh, coin to the right here. Just waiting on the elevator. This section was extremely difficult as a kid. I remember so many lives being wasted right there. I'm just gonna go underneath. I usually hit with a barrel. I uh, need a barrel. I'm just gonna destroy him. It's so much more consistent. You can't tell I really dislike this level. One, just 
way. Got you. Even though Ellie got scared, it was still counted, so I will take it. That was risky. And the first boss, Belcha. I did not know how to beat Belcha for a long time, but uh, it's actually in the title video if you watch it. Oh, that, that was a bad miss. Basic, oh, too high again. Okay, I'm releasing too early. There we go. Now it's gonna be three. So if you do this section perfectly, it's two, but it's gonna be three now. Assuming I don't miss anymore. Uh, I had a perfect belcha earlier, so that's that's kind of embarrassing. Not a hard boss, just a annoying one. Definitely the easiest boss in the game. Well, I would say Erich is the easiest boss in the game the way I play him, but Belcha is technically the easiest boss. And that's World 1. I severely dislike these next two levels. Barrel Shield bust up is awful. But the song is amazing. This song is on my playlist. Just as a single. And so what I do when I play casually is I just skip this level and I will show you how. Do that and I just skip the level. But I can beat it and so I will. But that's normally all I would do. But yeah, this same concept is in a uh, World 4 level. The first World 4 level, actually. And it's done so much better. And we'll get there momentarily. But uh, I just don't like the execution of this level. It just doesn't feel good to play. This is the first creeping. So you basically have to creep the uh, up button there in order to stay with the barrel. I've double rolled that before, but I didn't trust it. Okay, good. Good. little spider there. This game has the cutest spiders. Like, I normally don't like spiders that much, but this game has cute spiders. And my favorite level is actually a spider level. It is, a um, Crack Shot Croc. And you play as Squitter the Spider through the entire level. And there is the legitimate way to beat that level. Alright, on to Riverside Race. Um, we're just going for any person, or we're just not speedrun. So we're not going for uh, under 115, but it's fast to go under 115, so I'm gonna try. And if we do, we can make the bear big mad. And that's always fun. Mistake. Bad mistake. A 
this fine. Okay, the next one's a fly. Good. All the way down. I will absolutely be giving myself instructions. That was risky. Best way to do that. Come on, we're close to 115. You got the sweet. Alright, so now we get to see the bear go big mad. But first, we're doing squills on wheels and spring and spiders. And this is basically level two's sister, basically the same level, except uh, you're destroying the rats in the middle of the wheels to, in order to open the doors. So in level two, you were opening the doors with the levers. This this one, you're just destroying the rats. And this this level just feels way better than level two. It's just much better design, just feels great. I, I've been doing that lately, where I've been missing this trick, because I think you're supposed to go down, but you're supposed to go up. Bonus to the left there. And the barrel crossed me a little bit. But pretty straightforward level. Uh, bad jump. Sweet. Good shot. Nope. I think there's a way to hit it from the ground. Such a bad shot on that. Got it. Okay. Man, we'll be using the fact that Dixie holds a barrel like that pretty soon. But it is quite useful on this level as well. Oh, come on, jump. Bad throw. Good. Now you can technically go above or underneath, but nope. How am I second to hit over that? A little bit too late. Right there. You can get hit here. It's so stupid. Right. Oh, I already destroyed him. Get an extra three lives. Hopefully I don't need them. And my favorite level of World 2, Spring and Spiders. Same great song, much better level. Oh, got caught in the hole. Come on, D-pad. Oh, 
it's a really hard jump because you have to go back down before you can go up or you hit your head on the uh, platform, I guess. Hmm, that one's similar. It's just a good, clean platforming level. The big brother to this level is uh, Rips All Rage. And that's one of my favorite levels in the game. Basically, same style, except a saw is chasing you. And that'll be in World 4. Such a dumb decision. I don't need to fly there, I'm just being extra safe because I only have Dixie. Alright, now we get to see the bear go big mad. What do you mean you beat my record? I'm so mad! And despite it more, we're not even gonna go down there. Now, funny story about this level. So, I was actually the first person to beat this level. So I couldn't make it to World 2, but my brother did. But, I was actually the one to be this level, like... It's right there. Not again. Right there. Okay, okay. And when I showed him that, he said I was cheating. So here's the way to beat the level, the legitimate way. And this is actually an Ellie level, and a good Ellie level. So basically, Ellie has the ability to squirt water, and it's quite powerful. Because, B go bye bye. And I just learned that you can use A or R for the water. And then of course, we've been using that already, but you can use the trunk to pull in barrels, which allows you to do that and build yourself a platform. Quite a cool level, it really is. And that's just a fun coin to get. Miss. I have missed so many of those shots earlier, so I'm glad they're on, on walk now. Eh. It's flagging pretty hard, so I'm trying to be a little bit noticeable of that. Basically, I'm changing my movement because of that. Okay, it landed, okay. 
That looked like it wasn't going to land for a second. Bad. I'm just going to go here. That way I can do that. Okay. Switch to Dixie. And that is Bobbing Barrel Brawl. Quite a fun level. And here's Erich. Erich is the easiest boss when you follow this strat. There is a much faster strat, but this one is really consistent. So just Dixie, just jump up. You don't even have to throw, just straight up. Just jump, done, hide. Grab another barrel, hide again. Jump. Hide on this side. Go up and get a barrel. Hide on this side again. And that's Erich. Quite an easy boss. And now we go back to Funky, and he's like, You got a patch? Well, I have a hovercraft that needs a patch. Katuga. And now I can ride over rocks. I used to do Mechanos as a kid, but Cotton Top Cove is technically World 3, so we'll go there first. Boz's Blockade. This is the first water level, and I'm going to focus for it, so I'll talk to you in a bit. Was risky. Good. Ooh. Saved it. Ooh. That's Boz's blockade. And that's Boz's blockade. That is probably the most difficult water level of the three. Which is surprising because it's the first of the three. The third one is, uh... The reason the third one is so hard is because it's lights out. Oh, I forgot. Uh, this level and the other barrel levels I get turned around on sometimes. 
flag waiting. Okay, we're good. All right, full quench time. So these bees, these bee jumps are really, really difficult. And once I go full up, full left, it will outward. Okay. Ah. I hate those jumps so much. This level is probably the middle of the three. So there's three levels kind of like this. Trekker Barrel Trek, this one, and uh, the draw. No. And uh, the drop one is easily the hardest. But, uh, Trekker Barrel Trek became much easier once I realized that Ellie could just shoot all the bees. And I am somehow saving this bird. Is that, that is not correct, that's just a lie. I've practiced up to, I've practiced six and seven quite a lot. I'm not so great on um, three and four. Getting lives I hopefully don't need. I think we're still on a, a one. I don't think we've lost a life yet. Uh, yes, we did. We did in Murky Mill. Just the next dental press. Now here is creeping class, so once again, I'm going to be full focused. Because this level is incredibly difficult. Decision making. See, it is a little bit easier with Dixie because I can fix some situations. Uh. this. Okay. Nice creeping clasps. Oof. Okay. 
Necker barrel trick. I don't want to talk about it. I usually fly over with Dixie. Okay. So basically, the gimmick to this level is wherever you go, the barrel surely follows. And also hedgehogs for a reason. Okay. Bad call. Down. Okay. Got it. And the second half of this level is Ellie. Which I thought used to stink, but Ellie can do great things. Just check in my OBS because they just crashed on me. Not this time, hopefully, but oh, that's just bonus. But it has been known to crash. Okay. Let's move next. Bad positioning. That's fine. And I'm going to try to start using A for water instead. It seems more consistent. It's just bonus, but good practice. I get a bit turned around on this level as well. And sometimes our muscle memory will just Press R because I am not used to pressing A for water yet. Yeah, it's like the first, uh, this is a very difficult, uh, DK barrel, or DK coin, so I'm gonna go for it. Basically, you have to do, oh, too, too strong, too strong, and you only get one. Uh, so basically, you have to throw it up, and it has to go back slow. And this is the just keep moving section, and that's tracker barrel chart. Now for the much more enjoyable water level, this is Fish Food Frenzy. Basically you have this piranha following you for some reason and feed it fish, but he hates crustaceans. If he ever becomes red, which he does over time or by eating too many crustaceans, he will bite you. And you don't want to get bit by a piranha. Eat it. Good. But it's like, uh, beating the fish is not that hard. And this is a much easier water level than Baza's Blockade. Alright, there you go. Gonna go. Good. Oh, 
bad. Good. Yeah. I can recover. That was bad decision making due to I forgot the path. Did it work? Come on. Ah! Oh, I didn't turn around fast enough. Alright, y'all saw that too, right? He tried to bite a fish and he missed. So y'all saw that too, right? This dude just missed. Like, think of it like this. Like, you put the fork and you're about to put it in your mouth and then you just hit, like, the side of your face. Like, that's what he just did. Overall, this is a really chill level. <laughs> Might get bit here. Just kidding. And this is a fine uh, DK barrel to get. Is it that one? It is that one. So I just missed. Come on. Or DK coin. There. Right. That is fish food frenzy. Now on to the world three boss. This is Squirt Showdown. Actually, an Ellie boss. And basically, you just dodge like that. And then. Oh, I missed. Oh. You can totally one shot that. Do it again, except this time he has two rings of water. Basically, like playing uh, jump rope. Okay, both of those were false. Like, I pressed the button and it just didn't work. Phase two. On to phase three. And I'm pretty sure it's just two rings again. It is a little bit slippery, so learning to control Ellie like this took took quite a while. This is not free. That is World 3. On to Mechanus. Now this is the, uh, the level I was talking about, Fireball Frenzy. It's basically like the barrel level in World 2, except better and has more owls, which I approve of. So basically, you just go. Also, Owen Wilson.
Yeah, I saw that one. But I'm not going back. Ducking was the correct decision. this bonus. I've been doing this without Y for precision, but it seems to be working fine with Y. This part is so much better. It's basically the same as uh, that level, but it's so much better. And it's short. And that's Fireball Frenzy. Now on to the level I played the most as a kid. Demolition, demolition Dream Pipe. Now that's when I got to this level. I was probably like 12. So this level is a ton of fun. But it's also quite difficult. Especially the end. Jump. Saved. Okay, that's hard jump number one. And that's hard jump number two. Sweet. No way I one shot demolition drain pipe. Ah. <sighs> That level usually takes me three or three, three or four tries. All right, second favorite level, Ripsaw Rage. Great level, and it's like pure anxiety-inducing saw, but I don't know why it just works. And 
and it's also the level that taught me that rolling is very important, which is something I still don't do as much as I should. I should roll a lot more. Nice bonus. But yeah, I like this level on basically every front. Aesthetically, it's cool. And also, it's a pretty fun level. It's not super challenging because the challenge is mostly just avoiding the soul. So it's not the tightest platforming or anything. But it is a pretty good balance. It's not the easiest level either. Okay, almost slipped off. That's something I'm not very good at yet, is uh, stopping roll rotation where I want it. And that's just because of lack of practice. I don't usually roll. This is one of the few levels I do. And that is Ripsaw Rage. And Blazing Bazookas, and then the worst level in the entire game. Land on the barrel forehead. I had a run earlier where I did not land on the barrel at all. Checking OBS. So what happened was I made it to the final boss, and OBS crashed. Uh, I have a little bit more practice than I would have otherwise. Which is nice, it's, it's showing. This part sucks. Oh, still got hit. But having a squitter on this next part is super clutch. Also, best animal companion. Because he can do that. No other animal companion in this game can make your own uh, platforms. Andy has webs as a weapon, just best character. Pretty sure that was a slow one, but it's fine. Oh, oh. couldn't get off. Okay, we're committed now. Wow. Huh? Huh? Oh, I got a precious one. Okay. I think this is just straight down. Yes. This is a hard jump. Or barrel. Whew. Very difficult. That's blazing bazookas. OG Labyrinth, the worst level in the entire game, because no other level has these physics, and they suck. Okay, I never remember. I think it's there. Okay. There. 
Ah, that's fine. So it's like the reason this level sucks so much is there's the only way to practice it is this level. The physics do not matter outside of this level. And it's like, why would you want to learn physics for one level? But kind of have to. That being said, I'm kind of glad it's just one level because I don't know if I'd like two or three of these. I just don't want this level to be in the game anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna claw. I don't know if that's actually a true claw or not. It's just what I've been doing. I usually go up so, there we go. And this is the first uh, squawks level. And easily the worst squawks level the uh the main squawks level and uh world six is was quite difficult it probably still is quite difficult but i have gotten good at it hopefully i can show that but i have a lot of practice on it now but th that makes this basically trivial because you're not dealing with floaty Raph, we're not dealing with the floatiness of the Kongs anymore. Still the worst level. And this part is free with Pixie. I was already Pixie. Completely free with Dixie. That's Logi Labyrinth, and we are on to the World 4 boss, Chaos. And in my opinion, the hardest boss. I don't know the fast strat. The fast strat makes Chaos very easy. Once again, if I didn't say it, I would say it now. I absolutely give myself instructions. Jump. Especially with this boss. I can easily put three, four, five lives on this boss. Okay, head comes off. Got one more. Ooh, that was close. Okay. Dodge laser part one. No. 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 Good. Okay. Dodge laser part two. I forgot he did four. Oh, crap. Oh, I still got him. I still got him. I count that as a one shot. That's fine. They can hit is totally fine. Oh, give me that ski. Because you have a ski for some reason. back to funky come on come on 
much bad movement. Alright. Well, he's talking about skis. I'm guessing. Oh. Glad the recording still looks good. And now we have two skis, so... Uh, we can go up waterfalls, which makes a little bit of sense, I guess, but... Uh, weren't we just in a hovercraft? So why couldn't we just, you know... Eh. Crevice Creepers. Basically just the big brother of uh, Creeping Clasps. Uh, this level is annoying. It's good, but it's annoying. Because the time limit on uh, jumps is... Sometimes it feels good, and sometimes it feels really bad. But I'm learning to do more diagonals, and that was... Well, it wouldn't have mattered. DK Barrel's right here, but that was way too close. This one is whew, very good for diagonals. This one is very good for diagonals as well. And so is this good? Oh, glad it didn't connect there. I would have took a bit. Bad jump. Yeah. Okay. Part of section. Toboggan. That was like my uh, California, California finger thumb kind of thing I've do, been doing for like, that's cool, that's awesome. Oh, that was, it just didn't jump. Okay, it did jump, it just took a minute. I'm glad I got that in one shot, but I didn't get that one in one shot. <sighs> Focus up. This is the second of two cart levels and easily the harder, but Demolition Drain Pipe is nothing to scoff at. It is a hard level. Okay, good. I have to jump a little bit early on that one. Bad B. Good. Sweet. Good. That's fine. Okay. And I'm, I will take the bananas, thank you. Just kidding.
barrel drop bounce. You'll see. Like, there's no, there's no reason to describe this level. You'll see shortly. I'm actually not gonna do that. It seems like a really dumb decision in this situation. That's why that was a good decision. Look at this. Who in the world thought this was a good idea? Now, I know I just made that look easy because I've been practicing this for so long. That, that section sucks really, really hard. I hate this part. I'm very likely to lose right here, and I just don't like that. Good. This has gone way better than in past runs. Sweet. I will take a one-shot barrel drop bounce. That is a... I don't like... That is a tough level that I don't like. Let's just combine the two. Crack Shot Croc, my favorite level. Uh, you ever want to know what it feels like to have a sniper on you the entire time? Like, everywhere? Yeah, that's this level. Everywhere you go, there's a sniper. And like, you know, you would maybe think that is not a good level, but it works really well. And you feel in total control. Like if you take a hit like that, I fully deserve that hit. Okay, I'm focusing up now. Wow. I want to let go of Y on this level for precision, and I think that's I think that's correct. I think uh, precision beats speed in this level. In what other game can you make your own platforms mid-level? How cool is that? Yeah, I think letting go of Y was definitely the right decision there. That was so stupid. Can I make it? I can. I got away with that. Nope. Oof. Okay. I totally got away with that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, cool. Let's drop the boy the hit. balance before I can jump and the web seemed to be working that seemed a little bit risky but it worked okay let's take it squitter turned into a barrel so we can do this so we we got to take it we got to honor the sacrifice you know all right I'm not even going to try. Snow level number two. Um, eh. Do you count the uh, Fairway Toboggan as a snow level? Because I count it as a sled level, but you can also count it as a snow level. So, maybe. Bad jumps. Bouncing on them only works in certain sections, at least well. So like jumping over them is actually better here in my opinion. That's a very hard, uh, I've missed that so many times. And that was just sloppy. I want to say I ate my jump, but I might have pressed late. Yeah, stomping on them seems to uh, give me a bad... Uh, so it puts me in front instead of on, so that gives me a much better chance to be hit. Ooh. Okay, these I have to stop, and it's, ugh, it just doesn't work sometimes. I'll take his, whatever that was. Good. And this you just catch up and jump later. Got it. Oh. Meat. Now I'm, I'm home free, I think. Is there one more trick? Ah, it's fine. Just take the uh, damage boost. Just take the damage boost. Ooh. And now we're at Bleak's house. And this is the most fun boss fight. This is a snowball fight. Say what you want about this game. It has great bosses. Counted. This is another one. Once I got to this level, I used to play this for fun. I don't think I got to this level until I was like over 13. It's just one more section though, so it should be fine, as long as I don't do something stupid. Okay. 
like that. That was on the last phase. My controller totally froze up there. I think you can check my input on that. I definitely hit left. I'm trying to think about too many things at once. That's what happened there. It's focus on the fight. Sometimes I get into these rhythms where I just cannot beat Bleak. I used to hate this level, and now it is one of my favorites. This is a qual. Actually, these two. Or, once again, I don't know if that's qual or a different hand position. Busy. Fun level. Thank you. 
Twitter. I might try starting going. I might try to start going instant on that. Because it seems like I have enough time. That hit. No, do not ever try to go instant for that. That is so risky. Oh, stop. I don't know why that one gets me. How dare I go instant on that? It works, but how dare I? That was a situation where I remembered which trick it was as I was doing it. I've taken a lot of unnecessary hits there. Alright, on to another level I just do not like. But I'm getting better at it, I think. It's basically a memory puzzle in the form of a level. It is confused clips. AKA Blitz Fuse. Uh, at some point I will be yelling instructions to myself. Well, I'm trying not to yell, but you know, giving instructions to myself because this is a memory puzzle. Ah, and that is a sign. That I want to say that was just a little bit too high. I knew what was going to happen. It was just a little bit too high. know the first part as well. I know the second part pretty good, but not the first. Because the second part is way harder than the first. Okay, okay now it's full top. I remember that one. Wait. Go. We have the two crossings through the middle. Go. 
Okay, wait in the middle of the circle. Good. Wait. Go. Wait. Go. Oh, just a little bit too low. Right, right idea, just too low. Pull top. Good. Okay, maneuver. Good. Good. Too high. Okay. Above. Below. Below. Hey, okay, I think it's left side first. Yes. Now right. Now left. Now right. I'm gonna go over here just to be safe. Wait till I get to the top. And that is Confused Cliffs. Getting that one shot is... That means a lot to me because that is a... I've I spent a lot of time on the level. And do not adjust your screen. It really is that dark. This level is such a jerk. They turn off the lights. It's not a hard level, but it's, it's hard because you can't see. It's like that is the worst way to make a level hard. So I will need full concentration for this level. As the Tetris community is saying, eyes wide open. Should have went. All right, I'll, I'll go ahead and go, 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 go. Okay, okay, still made it. It's fine. This part looks harder than it is. It's just very slight movement, send her out. This level is a bit of a maze. So I I know this path kinda because of practice, but I might get lost. It's basically a possibility. Okay, I should have went. Now I wait. Going up, going up. Okay. Made that mistake a few times. Uh, this part of the level always gets me. I never know what I'm doing at this part, and I usually take a hit. Okay. 
Okay. Go easy, just be very gentle. And we're out of there. Glad that level's done. That is definitely one of the harder. And we're on to Pothole Panic. This used to be one of my worst levels. I've practiced it and I think I'm okay now. That's a hit. Nope. Okay. Should've went. I forgot, yeah, in practice I was like full send. See if we can snipe. Eat. Ness walks. Time for on guard. And I just like top routes here. Super scary. Sweet. Remember Ellie was just kind of go and everything will be okay. Completely fine. Same with Squitter. Like, just go. Completely fine. Alright, this is probably the hardest level of World 6. The B rope level. Fine. My timing's just a little bit off. I'm just trying to adjust. It's not the game, it's me. Was close. Little, little. Nope. Bad sight read. Short second time. This might be a level for the claw. I think it is actually.
power just bad. I already grabbed the banana, so I forgot what section I was on. Still fine. Okay. Double. Double. Good. Now, if we can get this bonus, I will try it. Because this is one of the hardest bonuses to get. Because uh, you have to uh, make this or help this bird get all the way to the end, and it's not the easiest task. Nah, not that bad. But this is quite a hard bonus. But uh, it's kind of a fun one. I mean, it's just bees, right? One of the hardest bonuses in the game. All right, on to Barbos. Now Barbos was giving me a little bit of trouble earlier, but hopefully today, but hopefully right now it'll go well. Alright, so how you beat Barbos? Stage one, uh, you have to break the two purple shells with the green shells. It's not the most intuitive boss, it took me actually a little bit of time to figure this out. As for suit, the second phase is so much fun. So he shoots these homing rockets, you just do this corner circle, and right there, that's one. And I think it sounded like quarter, but I meant to say corner circle. Uh, just a little bit too high. That, that's a hit. Uh, okay, we're fine. I am down to one, though, thanks to... Thanks to a bad hit on the second base. Five... Too high, too high. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Barbos used to be my least favorite boss, but um, it's completely fine now. That was just a bad. That was just a bad turn of events. That was too high. And why do I take hits on this section so frequently? The first section is the hardest of the three, easily. That's way too low. Right there, perfect. Not too high. Now this little corner circle is very consistent. I am just being off. Assure me, assure it's, it's, it's me, it's not the mechanic. The mechanic is good. Three, 
four, four, five, six are the phases. Oh yeah, I did take an early hit. That was one hit from done. Yeah, okay, it just didn't hit Y. I'm just gonna grab this one. I don't want to take a hit. I still took it. Why do I suck at this section so bad? Maybe. All right, we're going on to Castle Chaos, World Seven, and the e easily the hardest outside the Lost World. Chaos Core. Uh, I think Chaos Castle is actually the last level. But all these levels are exceptionally difficult.
<sighs> now comes the really tough parts. Trick number one done. This is just a ride. Too fast. The ride, not a old ride. Bad decision. The correct decision was jump on there right before the B and then jump up. I did it the hard way, but that's fine. Creepy Caverns, which is the easiest, but still not easy. This is definitely the easiest in World 7. Uh, so yeah, that's the gimmick of this level. Basically, these barrels appear and you have to get them when they are the correct angle. That's not always up, that's not always right, you know, but whatever the correct angle you need, you need to get that, or you, you might land in danger. It'll be... That was just a, just a miss, but... And the bananas basically show you which angle you need. For this one, you know, it would hit the B. You get it. And you can basically cheat that one with Dixie. And there's one coming up as well. These guys are so annoying. Cool. 
And this one, nothing bad happens. You just have to get it. The bees are there for no reason. Just, that was so stupid. I know. I know. You don't have to tell me, I know. You don't go while the barrel is active when you're that close. I'm going back. Where am I? I think this is the first time I've actually failed the level after Midway Barrel. If anything, that saved me time. But yeah, those bees are just there for show. They do absolutely nothing. Capture still seems to be good. That's great. On to Lightning Lookout. This is a very scary level, but uh, it's quite cool. I like it. So basically, you have these flashes and then lightning strikes. That was a stupid hit, but it didn't matter. That one does, and I need to shape up. Like getting struck by. Okay, now let's actually try. Water is so unfair, by the way. It strikes any of the water, which makes sense, but like, it's so unfair. There's nothing I could do there. If I jump on the barrel, I'm dead. I jump on the water, I'm dead.
Or is that what I'm supposed to do there? Am I supposed to hold a barrel over my head on the barrel? That's probably what I'm supposed to do there. Ugh. I disagree, but you're right. Don't get tilted. I disagree. Watch out. Just caught you Desert Clamber. This is a Dixie level. Ah, that's a life. This level is a quarter eater. Absolutely a quarter eater. Because you can make one mistake, you're dead. Great. I was thinking, uh, hold flight a little bit longer before landing. That's a good adjustment we can make. Jump up. Just thank you. We're good. The second part of this level was really, really hard, though. Got it. Right. These are jump shimmy jump. Shimmy. Got it. That is so risky. I think I felt like I deserved a fall, and so I gave myself one. But I really shouldn't have.
I think I can skip to two there, but I don't want to risk it. There's good. I've had that not work before. Good. And that's coin dozer a coin dozer climber, I think. That's right. Yes. Backwards water. Poisonous pipeline. Left is right, right is left. The level itself is really easy, by far the easiest water level, it's just, it still sucks. It's like not hard, it's just, it just sucks. Is the right way. I don't know what it is with me getting lost in water levels. by the fish there. Oof. Checking the recording. Great. I forgot which jump, uh, not jump. Whatever section that was. I forgot which section that was. Second. And backwards. Good. I'm trying to figure out why I hesitated my right press, and I really don't know. I don't have an answer. Because right is left. Ah. That was just too fast. I'm kind of disappointed I'm losing lives here, though. This is not a hard level. Ah. Yeah, the first tricky part. For a second there. Go. 
I should probably call that. Uh, that was just a bad decoy. Too early. I want to face King K. Rule. Oops. Spoilers. Uh, I've been one-shotting or uh, one-cycling that, but I just didn't feel it. It's not even the left right that gets me, it's just the elevation in the water. And that was just dumb. Time to beat this level. What's strange is I usually one-shot this. The fact that I'm struggling on it is pretty strange. So stupid, I'm going back down. I should definitely call that. to the boss.
first phase, have to go underneath at some point. Right. No? Okay. And then uh, throw up at the top of the head. Right there. Dodge missiles. Go underneath. Grab barrel. And jump. That's too early. The good news is you can take a hit here because they do give you a PK barrel, but that is phase one. And wait, it's not chaos, it's King K rule or Baron K something. Alright, first phase, you just uh, let him go over. So you just hold down. Right, then you go get your barrel. I couldn't get down fast enough. But what you do is you hold down, grab barrel, and toss, which I missed. Great show, Sean. Great show. Alright, now here's how you actually do that. Oh sweet, I can. I can do that. Sweet. So that saves a lot of time. But you can't do that, okay. I wasn't sure that was going to work. I'm glad it did. I don't remember this face. Oh, yes, I do. Remember to jump. Good. Uh, 
bad. Still fine. Go. Last phase is free. Oh, that was, that was stupid though. Okay. We got this. Oh, other side, this right. Go, 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 go. Okay. Now. Remember to jump. Okay. Oh, bad. Okay, go, 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 go. Ooh, that was close. Now. Wait. Jump. Oh, pain. Oh wait, he's normal level now. I didn't notice that. Go, 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 go. Good. Good. This is the last hit. Good. I don't know if that's time yet. Time. Ooh. That is Donkey Kong Country 3. Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. I, I don't think that's a good time at all. But, you know, it's my first recorded time, so that's pretty cool. And I think we're just going to end it there. So, um... I don't know, I kind of want to play the credits, but I don't know. Not everybody will like that. So I'm just going to end it there. Have a good one. Look at this graph.